Well, you've had your hand up here, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. Form. So, where's Lesson? Temperature counts. He had his hand right here, and by warming up this part of the cast iron, it's come down to the wave. Temperature will just absolutely screw you. So, while we're talking about temperature, so this is one of my one of my levels. Now, I just this is a three thousandths level, so I don't have it really, really fine. Yeah, you can see we've got, we've got coverage. There's there's scraping over most of it. Now, the reason I showed this is because it's been sitting here gathering, gathering, uh, not gathering heat, most importantly. So the first thing I did was I put on a pair of gloves and I took it out of the box and I put on. I put some bluing on it so you could see what it looked like. Now my force is talking, I'm going to be holding on to this. And then we're going to hit it on, on the surface plate again. And I'll show you what happens. And this is just, I'm just going to be holding this by force box. Yeah, well anyway, there's got a surface plate, all been scraped and everything else. He's got his fat hands on it and warming it up. He put the alcohol on the other side and cooled it off. I can feel it's cold. Yeah. It's not exactly warm. But our heat, our heat, our body heat, you know, when you start really looking at, at fine machines, like I don't know if anybody, any of you have ever seen the, uh, the Moore books, the uh, Foundation of Mechanical Accuracy, and yeah, you, uh, you see pictures of their scrapers. Well, they got a special apron on that reflects their heat back into their body. They have gloves on, they have arm sleeves on, everything to keep the heat of their body from heating up the casting that they're working on. That's radiant heat. Radiant heat. Because there, there are several kinds of heat we have to deal with. We have convection, conduction, radiant. So, like, you'd never want to put your 80-foot long blade right <coughs> next to a bunch of windows. It, uh, it turns into a banana. <laughs> it will screw with you constantly. I bet that's long enough. The ends should just touch. Yeah, pretty much. It's all the way out on the ends. Just the very tips. So what we did with my fat little hands heated up the center of that, heated up these braces, and they expanded and pushed this thing up like this, and it turned it into a banana. And that took all of a couple minutes. And I have kind of cold hands. <coughs> my hands run at a colder temperature than most people do. Yeah, well, if you wanted to take the time, we could probably give that uh, take that alcohol rag and you know, wash over the uh, thing and take it back to any other direction. Probably so.